And uh, we're starting off with a uh, student presentation, as you can tell. So uh, without further regard, please welcome the students. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let us. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let us embark on a flying journey into the future. For us, it's a great honor and an immense privilege to be standing here in this wonderful auditorium and have the incomparable opportunity to present our project of a space city on an asteroid. Our work won first prize in the category 11th grade, large group. Our team is from Bulgaria and we attend astronomy courses at the observatory of Varna and will graduate from school next year. So without further ado, let me introduce our team members. Stefan, Nikola, Mumchu, Javor, Ivan, uh, Evelyn, uh, Ivan, Yulia, Kaloyan, and me, Ruslan Drajev. We are led by our teachers, uh, Dr. Silvia, uh, Dr. Vesel Karadeva and Silvia Zakharyeva. The reason why we choose to build a city on a series is uh, why we, is that we strongly believe that in the future the Earth's industry will move to the series belt and uh, there is an availability of a fixed amount of resources. Next slide. The asteroid we choose is 129 antigram, and uh, there is an exuberance of detailed information about it. Uh, our team uh, was incredibly inter interested in learning something about the professional astronomy and be part of it with our observations we made in our national uh, Bulgarian observatory in Rogen. We used the big uh, tele telescope Schmidt for our observations of the asteroid. Uh, you can see the asteroid. Uh, it's the diameter of uh, his spherical mirror is 70 centimeters. We persist our images using MaxMDL professional software and we found the asteroid uh, using the Astrometrica software. You can see the screenshots of our work. Uh, the results and our observations were sent to the Minor Planet Center at Harvard. Next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, our goal is to make photometry of the asteroid and to calculate the rotation period of it. And so we did it with the Persea software. And our calculation of the rotation period is 4.996 hours. Uh, we work really precisely uh, with extremely precise uh, and uh, our results, uh, as you can see, uh, take, uh, are, really, are really close with the ones of the professional astronomers. Our city consists of 12 stories, 6 small and 6 major. Our city consists of 12 tories, 6 small and 6 major. They provide living area for up to 36,000 inhabitants and are connected to each other via enormous rings which contain the uh, transportation systems. The whole structure is attached to the asteroid and uh, the industrial area is on its surface. Next slide. Uh, the small tory are divided into to residential and to service levels. In the service levels are situated uh, the trans in the transportation system and the life supporting system. Uh, the bigger ones have the same structure, however, not with two, but with three residential levels. There is three main stages of constructing the city. The first one is taking out the elements in geostationary orbit. The second is um, fixing the elements and uh, testing the colony uh, on, in the orbit. And the third is transporting and activating the colony in, uh, on the asteroid. Next slide, please. The protection against space dangers um, is developed in several directions. We have active and passive radiation shoot and advanced COP configuration. Um, Carbon nanotubes, self-healing material, Cylon, RX, F1, and Aerogel. The, um, the protection against big bodies, for protection against big bodies, we used lasers and the Yarkovsky effect. Next slide, please. The required living conditions in terms of gravity will be created, will be recreated with the use of centrifugal acceleration. Each 
Torvalds law of theta that you apply to calculate the rate to ensure the normal gravity in the system. Life support. Life supporting systems are vital for living in space. That's the reason why we cannot afford our uh, city to lack air and water cycles. We have uh, also figured out a solution for, uh, to food uh, producing predicament. Uh, our main source of uh, nutrition will be vegetation, uh, seaweed like vegetation and uh, stem cell meat. The interior design is uh, really important uh, for the colonialists uh, to live normally. That's why we paid attention to the comfort using smart materials, which allow to uh, redesign the interior of each home. As you can see, uh, the uh, architecture of uh, each story, of each of the stories, uh, is different. And so all the images uh, we used uh, that we used to present your ideas in the project are entirely made by us. We've designed our colony for 36,000 people. Next slide, please. In order to thrive, it demands every single person's obedience to its fundamental principles based on democracy. Next slide, please. The government of the colony will be carried out by ministries. The Council of Space City and Tigone will be responsible for making all of the important political decisions. The economy is founded on the standard separation into three sectors. Our paramount objective is to extract the asteroid's deposits and manufacture them subsequently since there will be an urgent need for them, um, since there will be an urgent need for them um, in various spheres of the industry. Our main goals include expanding our space city, supplying the Earth and other space colonies like ours with resources, and uh, promoting science and technology. But amongst everything, we will try to focus on proving that for us, the sky is not the limit, but a whole new beginning. For us, it was of vast importance to realize that over the past few months, we've been working on finding salvation for numerous uh, for numerous utterly significant issues, the perils that lie ahead and await the entire human race. Our team's success is uh, for the most part due to the fact that we had the perfect mixture of astronomers, engineers, designers, and biologists. But simultaneously, we are all dreamers, which makes us architects of a futuristic world for our descendants. After studying our asteroid and uh, calculating its uh, properties, we figured out, um, we came up with realistic ideas for radi radiation shields, um, living uh, uh, energy resources, uh, life supporting systems, and interior designs for our settlement. We are confident that within the next 200 years, our idea is um, achievable. That was our project, and um, we believe that it is possible to be achieved because we know that the future begins uh, tomorrow. We'd, we really appreciate your time and would like to thank you for your attention. And now we want to uh, make a little present to Mr. Rao Globus for uh, organizing this amazing contest. This is one. <laughs> this is one photo we made during our observations in Naurogen. And this is uh, the Nebula M42, which is uh, a place where stars burst like young talents in this contest. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much.
direction or frequency of rotation as the others, or will there be separate torus, uh, you know, rotation? Uh, how will that work? Well, about the small and the large tower, they can't rotate at the same rate because the, the gravity would be different. But uh, about the clockwise and counterclockwise part of the question, uh, I believe it would be more symmetrical to uh, have different rotations. So it could balance, they could balance each other out. Uh, 4.9 hours. You would maintain that? Uh, well, the asteroid is large enough, so our rotation won't uh, change okay. its rotation. It's 100 kilometers in diameter. Okay. And then have you projected uh, the uh, lifespan of the project? In other words, when you would actually deplete all the mineable resources on the asteroid so that um, like it could be what, 10 years or 25 years? Uh, you mean from now or? No, from when you um, land on the asteroid and begin mining. Well, the plan is to construct everything on Earth and move the whole project assembled there. Okay. So we hope uh, we could quite fast start the whole mining process. And how long would the mining process last? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the asteroid is quite large, so I believe we will have enough resources for at least uh, 200 years and many more, which is our minimum lifespan. Mm-hmm.